today's video I wasn't trying to share with you actually the brands of the makeup I'm using but I'm just trying to spread this message to each of you that are watching this video that it's very important to think about the quantity of things that you are using daily and that the quantity of things that um, other brands want think you need but you actually don't I'm not the type of girl that stores lots of makeup and like trying different things out. This is everything I've got. I don't have any other additional boxes where I store unused uh, makeup. Here, even like most of the makeup I got here are just different types of um, foundations. I have few of them and I need to use them first before I will switch to my Lower waist alternative, squeeze this thing out till the last drop. You see the sun is getting out, so it's kind of um my skin is already darker than this foundation. But it's okay, we can fix it with a bronzer. As you can see, my skin tone is really uneven. Like, I've got a lot of um, acne scars, it's just my skin is very, it's not very good dealing with like scar repairing. Even though sometimes the acne is not too bad, but the scar seems to be worse than the acne itself. Next step I'm gonna do is just simply apply my bronzer. I think bronzer is the only one thing I'm gonna use the brush for. And I have this brush forever, I think like over seven years. So let's just move on. All right. I always apply a little bit on my neck so we don't have this very different color. And then a little on my forehead. And then for me, it's very important to, to apply a little bit of a bronzer. A bronzer I usually use as my contouring too. So very little I use for my nose because it's kind of wide. So there you go. Just a little. I have this concealer. I'm not sure about the brand of this. I think pencils is one of the most sustainable and zero waste uh, friendly um, items you can get so if you have a chance consider buying concealer in a pencil since the only plastic it got is this cap but then other than that it doesn't have anything else and it, it does a good job so I'm gonna apply on this guy this group of guys under my nose because I don't know, it always gets kind of dark. And then, uh, yeah. Sometimes I will leave this concealer for a little longer time, like for this guy, but I think even from the first time, I did a good job. Um, I don't really have dark circles. If I do, I'm just gonna, I would apply a little more foundation. But since I slept well today, thanks to my daughter, <laughs> I think it's good. Then the next step, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this luminizing drops. Basically, this is like a highlighter over here under my eyebrows, then here in the corner. Then I would use up on my lid, and then a little bit here, and just a little bit on my nose what i do i also use this luminizer as my eyeshadow so i'll put a little bit too remember we're trying to use and take the most of each makeup item Ooh. all right so i will start with eyebrows just a little then my eyeshadow you see I can work with two brushes at the same time. <gasps> okay, I've got this.
I think it already looks pretty good, pretty fresh. So I'm ready to move forward. And again, I'm gonna use my bronzer as my eyeshadow. I mean, I would use sometimes also my black pencil for my eyeliner. Some of the days I don't. So really, if you want to have like everyday makeup, then for me there is no need of using um, eyeliner. But for example, if I'm recording a video and I need a little heavier makeup, then I would go for it. Okay, you see? We don't use any eyeshadow, but still it looks like I used it. And then lip liner. So as a, again, lip liner liners are like one of the most sustainable products you can find. The only plastic thing is the cap. So I'm gonna use it all over my lips. I always was so bad with contouring my lips. But I think with years I'm getting better. And then just a little bit. And then the trick that I use is you either can apply a little bit of eyeliner on your finger, again, on your super brush, and just, you know, slightly apply on your cheekbones. And it kind of matches with my lips, which is cool, and I like that it's matching. And really, I have... I have zero understanding why people still use blush. I don't know, just maybe it's not for me. Last thing to use is my mascara. So I'm very specific about mascaras. Just because my um, lashes are very straight, so I really need that curl. I used to use curly when I was a teenager and then I felt like my lashes got shorter after using it. So I stopped using it completely for like years and um, I'm just trying to find the brush from mascara that is good on its own. I'm really looking forward to test a zero like lower waist version of mascara. Mascara is a big chunk of plastic that I truly feel really bad. I don't buy mascara very often. I know you have to um, kind of change your mascara every three months or maybe like every six months. But I change my mascara not that often. I know it's not good, but I kind of, I'm kind of okay with that. So okay, I applied. You see the difference? Ta-da! For now, I'm just missing my eyebrows. Thanks to my mom and dad, I have very thick eyebrows, so I don't do much. The only one thing I do, I actually clean my eyebrows. So I've got these reusable pads, and any type of oil that you use could be coconut oil. Now I use, I try to finish this bottle of my vitamin E. Um, so I just apply a little bit, and then I'm gonna clean. And I feel like this brows, I would say gel, oil thing, is so good for my eyebrows. It cleans very well. Okay, the most important not to leave any extra oil on my skin because it's not gonna look good. I don't like my skin to be too shiny. And I think my makeup is done. Please don't forget to subscribe to Live Anywhere Any channel and I will see you in the next videos. Bye!